All right, folks, welcome to West Virginia where nothing is level. If you'll notice, everything does set on a, a slight slant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are set up for tomorrow. Uh, this is the kill station I built last year. I built this out of some scrap lumber laying around. Um, the buckets are pretty much self-explanatory what they're there for. These are the new uh, restraining or kill cones that we got. I ordered these from Hog Slat, and I'm not disappointed. These are very heavy duty, um, and they're going to do the job where the other cones that we had they were just too long, and the funnel was too narrow down at the bottom. And though the body of the chicken would fit in. The, we couldn't get the head out the bottom. So <laughs> these will work fine because these are the exact same size uh, cones and stuff that we had on the trailer, the uh, poultry processing trailer that we leased a couple years back. So I know these will work out fine. So I got those mounted up tonight. So again, the buckets are pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, keeps everything neat and tidy around here. The scalder is a 15 gallon Cajun cooker. Economical. I'm not going to spend the money on a big, uh, well, there's rotating um, scalders right now because we don't process enough chickens to justify that cost. If we decide to upscale later on and increase our production and everything, we would look at one of those. But I would also look at having an indoor type facility to do that with. That way I don't have to continue to drag that thing in and outside. Um, so that's the setup from right here from the, uh, the kill station to the scalder. The pluckers in the basement, I'll bring it out tomorrow, it'll set right here. So from right here, then we'll come over here to the evisceration table, the processing table, uh, by the pool if we want to get too hot and we want to take a dunk. So there'll be two or three of us right here working. Uh, we'll be breaking down the carcass, eviscerating the carcass. Um, uh, innards that we're not going to be keeping, that we'll actually just feed the pigs. We'll go into a couple buckets here. Uh, heart, liver, and gizzards. We'll go in two of them here on ice, and we will be keeping those. From here, it goes to a double bowl stainless steel sink. So process, evisceration, hose it out, rinse it off real good. It'll come over here to two, uh, both of these and go through a rinse in both sides of it. And then from here to a chilling tank, then on ice. And as we get them on ice, we'll move them out of there, and they'll go into the coolers back here. And they'll spend 24, uh, spend uh, the night on ice. And then tomorrow we'll come back out. We'll put them in the Cajun cooker in the uh, heat shrink bags and get them ready to go in the freezer. All right, so that's the setup. It's very simple. Like I said, we can put this up in about an hour, have everything out here and ready to go. Um, just the big thing is, of course, we'll do a quick cleaning tomorrow with a bleach solution before we get started, rinse everything off real good. And uh, we'll get started on everything. So. We'll uh, pop a couple videos on for you guys tomorrow to show you everything that's going on. In the meantime, get to stay prepared, stay free, and God bless y'all.